So I haven't posted in a while, but it's because I keep getting sick. Before you try anything that I might recommend in this video, please consult your doctor. Never try anything new the day of or the day before a performance or competition. You need to know how foods, medications, and supplements or treatments might affect your singing voice. It's never a good idea to sing for an audition when you are sick. If there's any way you can change that audition time, I would highly recommend it. If you have a fever, go to bed. You shouldn't be singing. I get lots of questions about how I'm able to sing when I'm sick, but a lot of the sickness that I get is usually allergy issues. Before I had my second child, I had a rock solid immune system. I like never got sick and it was amazing. But when I had my second child, I had a very complicated time. I spent three days in the ICU intubated and I had 54 units of blood products. And because of that huge operation that I ended up needing, my immune system was lowered quite a bit. So I've spent the last eight years trying out different things about how to improve my immune system and how I can sing and still sound pretty decent when I'm sick. If I'm sick, but it's really just allergy issues and I'm just stopped up a little bit, I will still sing if I don't have a fever. Uh, there's this 48 hour rule that tells us with muscles that if you don't use a muscle within 48 hours, right at that 48 hour mark, you start losing strength, flexibility, coordination, and endurance. Remember that your vocal folds are a muscle and so you still need to work them out if you can. Now, when you warm up as you're sick, um, or sing one of your songs, you're not gonna sound your best and you need to remember that and focus on technique. You're still trying to work out your voice even though you're slightly sick. No pushing or anything like that. So let's talk about prevention first. Everyone tells you to wash your hands and it's true, you should wash your hands, especially if you're in a theater. Theaters are dirty, nasty places. They're really old and they've got all kinds of germ buildup everywhere. Also, if you're in a school, schools have all kinds of nasty diseases and germs lurking around every corner. Um, also, any other public place like a church or some kind of fun place to be, movie theater, you need to wash your hands, especially during flu and cold season. Okay, let's get to it. My basket of goodies, of things that I use to help me sing when I'm sick, and I hope you enjoy it. Remember, if you're interested in any of these products, you can find affiliate links in the descriptions so that you can order and try them for yourself. The first one is an age tried and true water. Okay, so studies show us that we need eight eight ounce glasses of water every day. A water bottle, your typical water bottle that you would get is equivalent to two eight ounce glasses. So you really need four water bottles a day. Now, if you're sick or you're feeling dehydrated, then you're probably going to need more than four of these a day. When I'm sick, sometimes I'll drink five or six of these a day, sometimes more depending on how dehydrated that I feel. There's another study that says you need to drink half of your body weight in ounces of water. For some people that still adds up to about four bottles of water or five bottles of water. Um, and for some people it's, it differs. So whichever you think about doing, I would still go for the four bottles of water a day as your average. When you're sick, or you need to sing, stay away from caffeine and alcohol. They're very drying on the voice. Also make sure to get lots of sleep. When I'm sick, I try to get between nine and 10 hours of sleep at night. And I know that's very difficult, but if you can't get that amount at night, then try to get some naps in. It will really help you out and your voice will be very happy. 
There's also the thing about vocal rest. Vocal rest is 15 to 30 minutes of you not talking or singing or making weird sounds or doing anything with your voice whatsoever. And especially when you're sick, you need a 15 to 30 minute vocal rest period in the morning, around lunchtime, and then in the afternoon or early evening. And that will do wonders for you. Also, when you're sick, try to do warm-ups and vocal exercises and practice in 30-minute segments spread out throughout the day. The biggest improvement on my health that I've found is finding the right vitamin for me. And that doesn't mean it's the right vitamin for you. You've got to find what works for you. But for me, the Garden of Life Raw One for Women has been incredible. Incredible. It also has uh, enzymes and probiotics in it, and it's just been super, super helpful for me. So if you're looking for a vitamin, a daily vitamin, I would recommend this, but again, it may not be for you. So remember that. I know that my body does not like evergreens very much. Cedar, spruce, any of those. I can't even have a real Christmas tree in my house without getting sick. So during the time of year when the north winds blow and the cedar pollen gets pushed down here, I use, it's from Allergena, it's the Texas Cedar Fever. My mom told me about this, she uses it, and I started using it and I love it. I don't use it all the time, but it's especially helpful for me not having to use allergy medicine all the time. If I think I might be getting sick and it's not just allergies, I will take oil of oregano. I love oil of oregano. And my favorite is the Solare oil of oregano. I really like these. They're little bitty capsules, easy to swallow. I'll take a couple of those. And I have even gotten rid of the flu with this. I'm not saying it's a cure-all. I'm just saying it works for me and it's very, very helpful. During cold and flu season, I really like to up my intake of vitamin C and zinc. And for that, I really like emergency. Ah. Uh, I know they have the chewables. I've used the chewables. They're not my favorite. I like the packets. And what you can do with the packets uh, is you can drink your one of your bottles to about halfway, about right there, and then put the packet in shake it up and drink it and you got it. So it's very, very helpful. And I just, I'm telling you the packets, I really like them a lot better, but you may not. You might like the chewables better. When I am having allergy issues and nothing else seems to be helping, I do use Allegra. It seems to be less drying for me than the other allergy medicines out there. I don't like to take it all the time because it is an allergy medicine and it is drying but it's the one that I seem to be able to take and I can still sing all my high notes and even all my low notes if I need them. So Allegra is my go-to, but I don't get the Allegra D um, and I'll talk about that later. Uh, the D attached stands for pseudofedrin and we'll talk about that later. A couple of years ago, I had a sinus infection that just would not go away. And so my doctor and I, we researched and we did what we could to try to help my immune system. And we came across the Garden of Life sinus support. And for me, it is amazing. It is truly, truly helpful. I started taking it again here recently when I kept getting sick and it has helped me immensely now. When my head is full of snot and my sinus cavities are full, it's really hard to sing. If you think about what you need when you sing, yes, you need your vocal folds. That's super important. Yeah. But your nasal cavity is where a lot of your resonance comes from. And so if it's clogged up with snot, you're not going to be able to send your sound into your sinus cavity bounce it around and send it out to your audience. And to clear out your nasal cavity, there's the wonderful Neil Med Nasal Rinse. <gasps> this is my favorite. I've tried other ones where you tilt your head and do other things, but this is my favorite. It's in a bottle and you have the packets that come with it. 
Okay, you feel the water up to the line, warm water, not from the tap, not from your faucet, um, but distilled or bottled water. And then you put the packet in, shake it up. You put it up one side of your nose and you squeeze and stuff comes out. And then you put it up the other side of your nose and you squeeze and stuff comes out. And then oh, you can breathe. It's amazing. I love it. And you can do it a few times a day, especially if you're super stopped up. And it has saved me several times. So I'm very thankful for this bottle. I like it. When my ears are clogged and I'm just full of snot and I can't seem to get rid of it, I really like taking Mucinex DM. <gasps> um, Mucinex DM, the DM is the cough suppressant part because we really don't want to cough. Now there are times where you've got to cough stuff up if it's getting into your lungs. But for the most part as singers, we don't want to cough. Um, so Mucinex DM, I really like it. It really helps clear out my ears. If my throat is also scratchy, on the other hand, I will use Robitussin DM. It helps soothe my throat. It'll coat my throat and I love it. I've used it in shows before when my throat was just really sore and I didn't know exactly what to do, but I would use this. They're basically the same thing. One is in pill form and one is liquid and you can get Robitussin in pill form as well, but I prefer the Robitussin liquid even though it doesn't taste very good. And I prefer the Mucinex DM in pill form and links to those are in the description. So the last show that I was in, I had tonsillitis and I thought, Who, what adult gets tonsillitis? But I did and my throat would just burn sometimes. My doctor told me to try this. It is Dr. Titchener's Peppermint mouthwash, antiseptic mouthwash. It's very concentrated, very concentrated. You only put like a little bit in at the top. Do what the instructions say. Um, fill the top up with water, put it in your mouth, gargle, and then spit it out. And it is so helpful. I would go almost immediately from sounding very hoarse and couldn't talk to I would gargle this and I would sound normal and it, was it was truly amazing i don't know if it will always work but i am keeping this in my medicine cabinet and i will be using this in the future i really like this stuff a lot of my theater friends and singer friends swear by this stuff it's called throat coat and you'll probably hear about it a lot um i've never actually used it in a show i finally decided after the last show i was in that i would get it and try it out. I've tried it a few times. I haven't had any adverse reaction to it. It's a tea. It tastes like black licorice, so it's not bad. And I haven't noticed a huge difference, but then again, I haven't had a super scratchy throat since the last time, but I didn't try it during that performance because I didn't know how I would react. Um, so I'm anxious to try this in the future but so far, I like it. I'm gonna keep it in my arsenal of things to use when my throat is not at its optimal performance level. I also recommend the Entertainer's Secret Spray. I'm out of it, so I don't actually have the product, but here's a picture right here. I was once singing with a chorus, the Beethoven's Ninth, and I'm a high soprano, so I was singing the top, and during some of the rehearsals, I was getting very fatigued, but this stuff really helped me out. You sing, ah, and spray it in, and it really gives you some instant hydration and will really help you out. Cough drops. There are a lot of cough drops out there, and these are my favorite, the Ricola Cherry Honey. I like them so, 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 so much. So the only ones I get, I stock up on them all the time. I always have one in my purse, uh, just in case my throat gets a little wore out. And sometimes I will even take one of these and put it between my teeth and my cheek. 
and I can sing that way. And so it's very helpful to kind of hydrate and soothe my throat when I need that extra throat comfort. Now, if I'm really, really stopped up and I can't get everything to drain, if my ears are clogged up and they hurt and nothing seems to be working, then I will take Sudafedrin. This is the H-E-B Sudafedrin. Um, you can just go to the pharmacy. All Sudafedrin, you have to go to the pharmacy now and request it and hand them your driver's license and all sorts of stuff and sign your name. Um, but Sudafedrin, I only take it during the day. It tends to give me really wild dreams at night, but it's also very, very drying. So if you take Sudafedrin because of allergy issues, just know it's going to dry you out and you're gonna need to drink a ton of extra water. Um, and that is why I don't buy the Allegra D, I buy the Allegra, and then I add the D if I need it, the Sudafedrin. One of my favorite hydration tips is the Magnificent Apple. Oh, I love apples. If you eat them an hour before you perform, not only will they help cut all the phlegm, but it gives you extra hydration during your performance. Apples are amazing. And of course, there's that whole saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Apples are truly amazing, so why not add them? Unless you're allergic, then don't eat an apple. If you're sick, it's very important that you pay attention to whether you're getting dehydrated or not. So let me read to you some signs of dehydration, and that way you know what to look for. First of all, if you're thirsty, you should get you a drink. You should drink some water. Uh, I've been told that if you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Okay, some of these symptoms, headaches, muscle cramps, dry skin, fatigue, fatigue, that means you're tired. I can drink a bottle of water and I have a ton of energy. Um, hunger, believe it or not, can also be a sign of thirst. I think that's weird, right? If you are over 35, or have had any kind of vocal damage and you need some help in repairing, then I recommend the NeoCell Super Collagen C. I stumbled upon this and it helped me out tremendously. I was having a really, really, really hard time recovering after being intubated and the collagen it helps rebuild connective tissue and bodybuilders use it for this reason. And it's super, super helpful. So that's it. That's all the tips. And look, my basket's empty. I have nothing else to show you. <laughs> uh, so if you're interested in any of the products that I showed you, remember there are affiliate links in the description below and that'll just be an easier way that you can find those products. If you have any questions, you can always ask me and I'll give you my opinion. But again, I'm not a doctor and you should probably ask your doctor about certain things. They may even have something else that they recommend. I really hope this helps you and thank you for watching.